seriously. Well, I think we all know what this is. This is a Central Perk pillow from the show Friends, which I did an episode of with George Clooney in the first season, I believe. Um, we played emergency room doctors who were treating uh, Ra uh, Rachel and Monica, and then we took them on a date at their apartment and they fed us hummus. And George and I made a chickpea joke. And I wore my own suit. <laughs> And it's the first and only time I've ever done a sitcom. A book I'm going to assume would be in reference to The Librarian. Uh, Flynn Carson, The Librarian, a character I've played now for many years, many times. Most fun jobs I've ever had in my life. Um, and I hope to get to play him again because every time I do, it's just pure joy for me. It's like going right to my sense of play and my sense of fun. It's the job that I did really for my kids to be able to watch their dad do stuff, you know. And my seven-year-old just watched the first three movies. She is the perfect age to, Dad, you're swinging on a vine. Dad, you're jumping off a cliff. So I'm a hero in her eyes, and I'm very grateful to the librarian for allowing that to happen. What else we have here? Oh my God. Frank, the horrific bunny from Donnie Darko. I knew Drew Barrymore. Drew and I, I wouldn't say we were friends. We had the same publicist. She called me up and said, I've got this crazy movie I'm producing. You want to come and work on it for a couple days? And I said, sure. I read the script. I thought I understood it. I certainly understood the scenes that she and I had to play. Went, shot the scenes, watched the movie, and went, oh, what? I'm in that? <laughs> and this movie, uh, along with that episode of Friends, has been an, um, maybe the longest, biggest reaction to a, some, some, you know, a job that I didn't think would be, uh, have any lasting effect. What else do we have in here? Oh, I think we all know what this is. Paging Dr. Carter, the old stethoscope. 15 years of my life, every day, putting this on like this. And I always put it on the same way. I always put it on with the bell on the left. And the reason I did that was because in the beginning, when you're shooting a scene, sometimes take one, you did this. Take two, you did this. And you can't cut take one and take two together, so then you'd have to go back and have to reshoot it. And so we made a rule. Everybody memorize. When you put your stethoscope on, you put it on the same fucking way every time so we don't have to come back and reshoot this, okay? I'm going left. Uh, uh. Alien. Falling Sky. Tom Mason. Five years of my life killing aliens in Canada during the winter time. In the rain, at night, freezing myself. It was a very exciting time. Very exciting show, really hard to make, really hard to do. We got very close with everybody that I was working with out of necessity. When I think about it, I get cold, I get uncomfortable, I feel pains and aches. Cookie. Cookie? Cookie, cookie, cookie. Um, I did an episode of Sesame Street. One of my crowning achievements, really. I got to be on Sesame Street I got to treat Big Bird. He came into my emergency room. He had eaten a bad caraway seed, I believe, and I helped dislodge it. And I got to say at the end of the episode, uh, Sesame Street is a product of the Children's Television Workshop, and today it was brought to you by the letters E and R. And I'll tell you another funny story, is I got to sing in the nest with Big Bird. And I'm not a singer, as you're gonna discover in a second. Because I'm in the nest and Big Bird is singing, sing, sing a song, sing out loud. And the guy's going, sing, Noah, you're not on pitch. Listen to Big Bird, listen to Big, Noah, you're not on, no, 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 let's cut, let's cut. All day long, Carol Spinney, who played Big Bird, and I got along really, really well. And when the day was finished and I was, I was walking away, I'm walking and I hear, hey, Noah. And I turn and Carol goes, I never do this. Ding. And he plucked two of his feathers and he gave them to me, which I still have at home. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to the last item in the box. A gavel, symbolizing the character that I'm currently playing, Harry Wilson, attorney at law in the show Liberty Redemption. 
Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun on this one. Harry's a great character. He's a bad guy who's trying to be a good guy. He's a good guy who's kind of been a bad guy. He's a charming guy who uh, is trying to find some substance. A father that's never really been uh, present. Uh, he's a complicated guy whose heart is in the right place and I'm having a field day playing with it.